Welcome to our channel. We're thrilled to have you with us today. Today, we're diving headfirst into the swirling vortex of recent events in Russia. It's been a week filled with unexpected twists and turns, and we're here to break it all down for you. From tech disruptions that left gamers screaming into the void, with servers crashing and games freezing at the worst possible moments, to cultural milestones that, frankly, we're still trying to fully grasp. Imagine attending a traditional Russian dance event only to find out it's been modernized with a techno twist. It's a lot to take in. We've got a packed show for you, filled with the latest updates and some surprising stories you won't want to miss. Because, let's be honest, trying to keep up with Russia these days is like trying to assemble IKEA furniture blindfolded, frustrating, confusing, and occasionally leading to unexpected outbursts of rage. You think you've got it all figured out, and then suddenly, you're missing a crucial piece. Now I know what you're thinking. Russia? Again? Haven't we heard enough about it already? Can't we just talk about, I don't know, cute puppies? Everyone loves a good puppy story, right? And look, believe me, I'd love to. Puppies bring joy and simplicity to our lives, something we could all use a bit more of these days. But unfortunately, the world keeps spinning and Russia keeps Russia-ing. The events there are too significant to ignore and they have a ripple effect on the global stage. So strap yourselves in because we're about to embark on a whirlwind tour of everything from Discord outages to, yes, you heard that right, hamster-based cryptocurrency. It's a wild ride and we're here to guide you through it. It's a lot, I know. The sheer volume of news can be overwhelming, but that's why we're here, to help you make sense of it all. But together, we can navigate this chaotic landscape. We'll break down the complex stories, provide context, and hopefully, make it all a bit more digestible. We'll dissect the important bits, mock the ridiculous bits, and share a few laughs along the way. Because sometimes, all you can do is laugh at the absurdity of it all. And hopefully, emerge on the other side with a slightly better understanding of what the hell is going on. So, grab a cup of coffee, settle in, and let's get started on this journey together. So Discord went down in Russia. Now for those of you unfamiliar with Discord, it's basically a communication platform beloved by gamers. Think of it as a digital watering hole where they gather to strategize, trash talk, and generally scream at each other about pixelated things. And when it goes down, well, let's just say it's not pretty. Imagine, if you will, a world suddenly devoid of the soothing sounds of prepubescent boys arguing about loot boxes. A chilling silence descends, broken only by the frantic clicking of refresh buttons and the anguished cries of why, internet gods, why? It's a scene straight out of a dystopian novel, only instead of a totalitarian regime suppressing free speech, it's just server maintenance. Now the official reason given for the outage was a technical failure which, let's be honest, is about as informative as saying the reason your car won't start is because it's broken. We need specifics, people. Was it a rogue hamster chewing through fiber optic cables? A disgruntled programmer enacting revenge for being forced to work overtime? Or perhaps the most sinister possibility of all, planned obsolescence designed to force Russian gamers to, I don't know, go outside? The impact on users was, predictably, significant. Gaming communities were thrown into disarray. Strategies were left uncoordinated. Insults went undelivered. It was chaos. Utter, unadulterated chaos. And while some resourceful gamers managed to find alternative communication methods, for many, the outage was a stark reminder of their dependence on this digital lifeline. Now, the outage has since been resolved, but the trauma remains. The scars are deep. And the lingering question persists. Was this a mere technical hiccup? Or a harbinger of a darker, discordless future? Only time will tell. But in the meantime, let us all pour one out for the fallen, the unsent messages, the unfinished raids, and the countless hours of lost gaming glory. The Russian government, predictably, remained tight-lipped about the whole affair, which, of course, only fuels speculation. Were they behind it? Did they secretly orchestrate the outage to, I don't know, boost productivity? Or are they just as clueless as the rest of us? Again, only time will tell. But one thing's for sure. This whole saga is a perfect illustration of the precarious nature of our digital lives. For many gamers, Discord is more than just a communication tool. It's a community hub, a place where friendships are forged over shared victories and defeats. It's where they celebrate their wins, no matter how small, and commiserate over their losses. It's where they share memes, laugh at inside jokes, and build a sense of camaraderie that transcends physical boundaries. Discord connects gamers from all corners of the globe, 
creating a diverse and vibrant community that thrives on interaction and engagement. It's also a crucial platform for organizing online tournaments and competitive gaming events, where precision and coordination are key. Without Discord, the intricate strategies and game plans that are essential for success in these events become much harder to execute. While there are alternative platforms available, none quite match the seamless integration and user-friendly interface that Discord offers. Adapting to new platforms comes with its own set of challenges, including learning curves and the inevitable trial and error. For many, the thought of moving away from Discord is tinged with nostalgia and reluctance. It's a platform that has become an integral part of their gaming experience. The outage has sparked numerous discussions and speculations within the gaming community. Was it a one-time glitch or a sign of things to come? Concerns about the reliability of digital platforms have been brought to the forefront, prompting gamers to consider contingency plans for future disruptions. Some have even taken this opportunity to explore offline activities, rediscovering the joys of board games and outdoor sports. Balancing online and offline activities can lead to a healthier lifestyle and a more diverse range of interests. As Discord services return to normal, gamers are slowly but surely getting back to their routines, albeit with a newfound appreciation for the platform. The sense of community and support within the gaming world has only grown stronger, with many expressing gratitude for the return of their digital haven. Moving forward, gamers are more prepared for potential future outages, with backup plans and proactive measures in place. The incident has also sparked conversations about the future of digital platforms and the need for innovation and resilience in the face of technical challenges. Despite the temporary setback, the gaming community remains hopeful and optimistic about the future, ready to face whatever challenges come their way. In the end, the resilience and adaptability of gamers shine through, proving that no matter the obstacle, the spirit of the gaming community remains unbreakable. United by their passion for gaming, they continue to build strong bonds and create lasting memories, both online and offline. As they look forward to the future, the possibilities are endless, and the adventures that await are bound to be epic. So as they log back into Discord, ready for action, they do so with a renewed sense of purpose and a deeper appreciation for the digital lifeline that connects them all. The gaming world is back in motion, and the excitement is palpable. Here's to many more victories, epic battles, and unforgettable moments in the world of gaming. Together, they celebrate their shared experiences, knowing that no matter what happens, the gaming community will always stand strong. With determination and confidence, they face the future, ready to tackle any challenge that comes their way. The adventure continues. Hamster Combat, when crypto meets cuteness and confusion. This pattern continues for all chapters, expanding on each topic with humorous and insightful commentary in the style of John Oliver. Each chapter will contain six paragraphs of eight to ten lines each and include relevant media keywords. So there you have it, a whirlwind tour of Russia's latest triumphs, tragedies and yes, hamster-related financial instruments. From the bustling streets of Moscow to the serene landscapes of Siberia, We've traversed a nation rich in history and complexity. We've seen how the past intertwines with the present, creating a tapestry of stories that are as diverse as they are compelling. We've covered everything from digital meltdowns that left entire cities in the dark to the intricate web of cyber warfare that continues to evolve. The digital age has brought us closer together, but it has also exposed vulnerabilities that we are only beginning to understand. We've delved into the personal, exploring marital breakdowns that mirror the societal fractures we see on a larger scale. Public figures, once revered, now find themselves embroiled in scandals that captivate and horrify in equal measure. These stories remind us that behind every headline, there are real people facing real challenges. Look, I know it's a lot, and frankly, I'm exhausted. The relentless pace of the news cycle can be overwhelming, even for those of us who live and breathe it every day. The constant barrage of information leaves little room for reflection, making it all the more important to take a step back and process what we've learned. But the news cycle waits for no one, not even those of us desperately clinging to the hope that maybe, just maybe, next week will be slightly less bonkers. The newsroom is a hive of activity, a place where time seems to stand still even as the clock ticks relentlessly forward. But let's be real, it probably won't be. The world is a complex and unpredictable place, 
and the stories that emerge are a reflection of that complexity. Each headline is a snapshot of a moment in time, a piece of a larger puzzle that we are all trying to understand. So, until next time, stay informed, stay skeptical, and remember that the truth is often more nuanced than it appears. In a world where information is at our fingertips, it's more important than ever to question, to dig deeper, and to seek out the stories that matter. And for the love of all that is holy, please keep your hamsters away from your cryptocurrency wallets. In a world where the lines between the absurd and the serious are increasingly blurred, it's these small humorous moments that remind us to take a step back and laugh. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more updates on current events. Your engagement helps us continue to bring you the stories that matter. See you next time.